Hi guys, it's Harley from HSA and today we're going to show you how to update one of these double sockets um, with a nice polished uh, new double socket and the first thing to first is to check whether the existing wiring has been done correctly uh, so what you can use is one of these which is a, a LAP MS686 uh, basically it tells you if your socket has been wired correctly so it tells you if you've got a missing earth, if you've got a live um, earth reverse a live neutral reverse or a missing neutral so basically we're hoping that the both two green lights work to show that it's actually been correctly wired previously so the first so we know it's two green wires uh, the green lights and that's, that's fine and check the first one and then the second one that's correct as well so now we know that it's been wired correctly now the next thing to do is to make sure that power coming to the socket has been isolated from the mains and you do that via the main um, consumer unit which is located in the property uh, it's just a standard domestic uh, crab tree consumer unit and first things first is to make sure that's isolated okay so this is the main fuse board uh, so you just locate the, the kitchen uh, ring circuit uh, so which is the 32 amps so I'll simply uh, flip that end switch and that should isolate As you can see, these screws are pretty long. Okay, so I'll pull the socket forward and you'll see the wires. So the next stage is to get a, we've got a multimeter here and it, it just checks whether any voltage is coming through the wires. I know we've isolated it at this stage and we checked with the other tester, but the good thing about this meter, it tells you if any volts actually come through uh, between live and neutral. So if there's a volt coming through, it would actually show you indication on how much is coming through. So AC or DC, 230 and well, it's 12 volts, and it, which is live left right. So first things first, just check uh, your live and neutral. So no voltage there, and live and earth. Yep, no voltage there, and neutral and earth. So that's fine. So I'm happy with that. You can just now take the wires out. Okay, you can see the the metal back box now, and the good thing about this one is uh it's actually 35 mil back box, so which is good for your flat chrome plates, uh, double sockets. So it's pretty decent uh, in terms of the wiring. So you got your wire coming in to the socket and the one going out. So it's a ring, and then you got your brown, which is your live, and your blue, uh, which is neutral, and your two earth wires there. So I just simply unscrew all these three, and then uh, we'll place a new socket. Okay, so you just take, open the screws. As you can see, these wires are pretty long, so I mean the sleeving hasn't been taken off from towards the end. So in terms of this wire, it's pretty long. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna shorten these wires and put two separate earth sleeves and make it look a bit tidier. 
Okay, so I'll just take this sleeve off. Uh, first thing. So the best is you just grab the earth wire and just, and just pull it to the end and then simply cut it away. And again do the same with the second one. Okay, so you now can see the how long these are, so we're just going to shorten these and then put some earth sleeving on there. Okay, so let's cut these a bit shorter. And we want to use a wire stripper and it makes it a lot easier to strip the wires down. And you simply put it in there and job done. And take about 10 mil off, so that's a reasonable size there. So again, do this one as well. And then the last one, there you go. That's good. And I just put the sleeve on. So I grab some uh, earth sleeve and just measure it up. Okay, that's it, and that's ready to go. We're just going to put this, shorten these slightly, and then position these for the new socket. Okay, before you got to arrange your wires, uh, just quickly check behind this to find out where the the live and the neutral is. So the neutral's on the left hand side, where we reverse it back, live, and then the two earth points. So our best thing to do is open all the screws first, so it makes it easier to put the wires in. Okay, so the neutrals. So you just you got to manipulate the wires slightly here. So you just put your neutrals together, do here, and then your lives. Okay. And screw it back in. And just make sure this is tight so you need a good connection, neutral and live. Okay, so I just quickly tug the wires to make sure they're nice and tight and do the same with your neutrals. So as you can see, the wires are nicely put in. So you can see it's all the sleeves are covering the actual copper wires. So it's very important to make sure that nothing's sticking out. So that's done nicely, that is. And the next day is to start screwing this back in. Okay, so I'll push the socket back. And this time I'm gonna use a smaller screws um, because the distance between the socket and the back plate is not that far. The, the, the other ones are too long, so I'll use smaller ones. So I just simply screw this back in. Like so. So it's best not to tighten all of them. So it makes it easy to put them both in first and then tighten them. So one side's fixed and, and the other side's adjustable so you can lever the socket. So as you can see, you can, it goes up and down. So 
once you fix the left on this side, it's, it's the left side that's fixed. So you screw this on in, and then you can adjust it. There you go, nice and flat and flush. So it's nice, nicely flush against the plaster board. So that's a neat job there. Okay, the flat pit's now is installed. Now we're just gonna go back to the consumer unit and bring power back to the socket and see if it works. Okay, so back to the consumer unit. Put the switch back up. Yep, so it hasn't tripped, so that's good news. So let's go back to the socket and check. Okay, so we're just gonna te put the tester back in and check if it's wired correctly. And make sure the power's on. There you go, so two green lights, everything's fine, there's no missing earth, the live and neutral's fine, that's perfect. Again, same with that one as well, two green lights, and that's it. So guys, thanks for your time and watching this video, and that's how you install a chrome flat double socket. Thank you very much, keep it locked, HSA.